<laughs> Thierry, let's talk about this because it's yeah. been all over the news. Um, action needed to be taken. You were probably the first one, really, that, that stood up and said, I'm not going to use my platforms anymore on social media until this is sorted out and completely boycotted it permanently or at least for a long time. Um, tell us why you felt that that was important. First and foremost, Laura, I think let, let's rectify stuff. Uh, I wasn't the first one. A lot of people come off social media. A lot of unknown people come off social media for being abused. A lot of football players came off social media. What I, th I think you should say is I was the first one that maybe could have an impact on what that could go after. So I'm not going to claim that I was the first one, but I realized that if I come off social media, because I had enough, in all fairness, uh, that could create a little wave. But a lot of people come off social media before, and you have to recognize that maybe you can, you can have a voice for the people that can maybe not have that voice. And so that was what it was. Um, but now to go back to what's happening right now, I think sometimes we're quick to, to say that there is some problem in the game as we saw last week. But sometimes you have to give, give credit when credit is due. What's happening right now, I thought it was going to happen a tiny bit before, but it's finally happening and English football is so powerful. The press is so powerful that if we come together, the strength of the pack, as I always mention, we can achieve stuff. So this is for me... A, a, a start hopefully can carry on who is it that you are hoping that it affects is it the people that are being abusive or is it the powers that control the social media companies yeah you, you said it just just there people that can uh, you know it's very difficult to change uh, a problem that we have in society for forever since i can remember I have stories with my mom stories now stories gonna carry on but we can have an impact on who's talking on those platforms. Or uh, we can protect our game. For example, you saw uh, last week when everyone comes together, that Super League lasted two, two days. So if everyone comes together on the racism issue, on bullying, on harassment, or whatever problem we have in our game, um, then things can happen. So, but if you come as an individual, from time to time, nothing will ever happen. Company only cares when you come as a pack. When the people talk, people will get something. You know, and that's that for me, what I always thought, what I always uh, uh, admire. For example, it was a great victory for, for everybody that loves, loves football. Look, I'm an Arsenal fan, but we were all football fans last week. And as for me, that was the key, because when we all come together, nobody can do anything. I think you're right, Cherry. I, I, I was actually very proud of the way the football fan and the fans came together. And I think you're spot on with your assessment. The power that they had and showed <clears throat> was quite remarkable. But in terms of taking this ne next step for, for social media abuse, we, it's obviously a subject that we speak about far too often because we have to. But I don't, for the life of me, maybe it is an age thing with me, Terry. I cannot understand how difficult it must be for the people that run these social media platforms, just make it, make, make your, you have to know who you are. Let you, make, let, you know, give your address or a date of birth or whatever it may be. Surely it's not that difficult because I think it would cut the abuse by straight, immediately by a very high percentage. I agree with you. When, when people know who is talking, when people can recognize your face and who you are and where you live. Listen, you can't, you can't buy a car or buy a house without letting everyone know how many teeth you still have in your mouth. Yeah. So, so, you know, you have to give you have to give all the info you can give, but you can open a, any account just like that. Agreed. And you say whatever you want just like that. But, like I said at the time, and we talked about it with, with Troy, try to put a, a, a video that you don't own the rights or a music in the background on your video when you yeah. do something mm -hmm. quick, they're going to cut it off without anyone reporting anything. There are people make, to make sure that doesn't happen. So, as you said, also, I'm a tiny bit younger than you, Ali, but I'm also old school. I didn't go to, to Silicon Valley and all of that and yeah. study to know how to create algorithm. And I don't have, uh, I have the ability to understand that I'm not at that level. But what we are doing right now, what the, what, what the English League is doing right now, all together with us, can you answer this question? Because creating those multiple blocking or whatever they come up with recently, 
it's not going to change anything. Yeah, Thierry, it just it just feels like as we spoke about recently. So I'm I'm kind of listening again, but with with passion. But I like it when you say that they they're not doing anything of substance. And this is what we've tried to speak about on this show on on numerous occasions is it needs to be substance because people don't feel the emotional attachment that we do when you get abused. And if you get abused for football and someone says, oh, Troy should have scored this or Thierry should have done that, it's a completely different thing to somebody stating you're not good because of your your skin colour. Can you just try to give someone some context as to why you feel emotionally when that happens? Listen, it's, it's, it's it's about the game. Because changing the society will be very difficult, right? You, you, I, can't, I can't go to someone's house and change what they think of about mm. anything. But we have to protect our game like we did the other day. And look, I'm not playing anymore. So, you know, I get, I get less abuse, if I can say. Um, but it, it's about the next generation. It's about the game. It's about everybody. It's not about me. It's not about you. It's not about you, Alice. It's not about you, Laura. It's about everybody. We all love football. So anything that's going to affect my game... I'm gonna, I gonna, I gonna have an impact on it because it's not because I'm not in it anymore that I'm not going to talk. You know, so many people back in the days suffered of it, and and we don't even talk about them anymore. You know, and and in a lot, in a lot, understand me well, in a lot of uh, of subject, topic, and shape or form. But I'm gonna talk about my community. John Barnes, John Barnes for me is a legend. You know, Sir Regis, Viv Anderson, and I'm, if I, 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 Ali, I'm sure you remember Marius Trezor. Absolutely. Sure. Okay, so for me, Marius Trezor is, is the closest thing to God because he made me believe as a West Indian guy that it is possible to play for France. It's possible to be successful. So I was like, okay, those guys did, we have to, we have to carry on doing what, what they started, although I'm not playing anymore. That, that is not the point. I'm a fan. At the end of the day, we're all fans, as we all saw last week. So this is what it makes me. You know, when I, when I hear anyone getting abused in my game, I'm like, still? Wow. You know, and it, and it will be, but can, we, can it be less, way less? And it's a, it's a start with what's happening uh, and what's going to happen at the weekend. Is it on your radar at all that one day you might rejoin social media if you feel that the landscape has been changed and, and you've had an effect? Or for you, is it, is, it, is it done? No, no, it's not done. You know, I'm on holiday right now. <laughs> 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 no, no, you know, it's not done, let's all be honest. It, come on, it is a great tool. Let's not, let, not, let's not be sitting here and not say it, it is a great tool. Look. For you guys, for example, to put to put something to create a buzz, it's normal. I understand, but you have always people that will use a tool as a weapon. And so, in the street, you can't do it. Why can can you do it on social media? And that is it. It is a great tool. Don't get me wrong. Right now, I'm on holiday. I don't know when the 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 honeymoon's gonna stop for me, and and uh, and I'm gonna go back to work. <laughs> but uh, no, right now, right now, no, Laura. And, and uh, I I just want to see where this is going. But I love that we are united and we have, we have, we have shown that uh, last week and we, we will carry on to do that. But again, well done on, on everybody that is involved on that. The, the whole entire English football came together uh, to have an impact on it and, and rightly so, by the way. 